is Ken Rosenfield. I'm talking on behalf of uh, Viva 365 of Mass General Hospital, giving you a little bit of a tip uh, for um, anti-grade access that uh, is one that I tell my fellows. Uh, sometimes when you do an anti-grade puncture, uh, whether you do it with a syringe uh, on your hands and holding the, the needle with a syringe or if you're actually puncturing holding this, the needle itself, uh, you advance the wire and you find that you're, you're in the profunda. And the way you can know that is by turning your, your angulation ipsilateral and you see that the wire goes off to the side as opposed to down the SFA. If that happens, I tell my fellows, don't pull the wire back and try to redirect it down the, the uh, SFA because you might lose access. You might lose your, your one access that you've already secured and, and open up the possibility of bleeding and so on. So instead, advance a sheath down the profunda, leaving the wire in place, and that wire stays in there while you withdraw your sheath, pulsing some contrast in there. Advance another wire in, and that wire should have an angle on it and is redirected into the SFA. So you're able to uh, then maintain secure access the whole time. You only pull out your profunda wire when you know your second wire is down the SFA. Just a little tip or a tip to keep you from getting into trouble.